The markets are in turmoil. Everything is shifting. And if you're not paying attention, you're going to get wiped out. This is about the greatest bubble. And for those of you with a 401k or hoping for retirement or playing golf for the rest of your life, you better pay attention because I think, and a lot of other people think, the biggest stock market crash is on us now. What is going on in the world right now has never happened in the history of the world. I mean, I knew our leaders were screwed up, but not this screwed up. So the crash is bigger than I thought. So in March of 2020 was the biggest crash in world history of the stock market, but nobody knows anything about it because everybody's quarantined at home thinking about coronavirus and, and social distancing and wearing face masks. So people are missing out on one of the biggest catastrophic cash heists in the history of the world. They don't even know what's happening. Now, the good news is I'm going to make a fortune. This is the best time if you're ready for it. So I want you guys who are sitting at home, you know, licking your wounds and wondering when you can go back to work and so you can get your lattes and cappuccinos and pizzas. Just know you might be missing one of the biggest opportunities in the history of the world because our governments have really screwed up. I won't talk about conspiracy, but something's fishy about this corona crisis. Why did they have to shut down the whole damn world? And I think it's because they're covering up something very, very big. I mean, how can you shut down the whole world economy? And the reason that's really good news is because both the Fed and the Treasury, they're supposed to be separate, but they're now scratching each other's back, which proves they were never separate at all. And most people, that doesn't make any sense to them. And that's why this is probably the most important program. But it's not... See, most people just watch the stock market. That's all they watch. They don't know much about what the, much the home prices in their neighborhood. And that's not good enough. What does the future hold? Right now, when you look at the future, the baby boomers are old guys. You know, they're the first generation, I think, to have a 401k because we came off what's called defined benefit pension plan and went to a defined contribution, which is the 401k or IRA or SEPs. So the baby boomers for the first generation to be hanging with their butt out in the air right now. And if the market crashes, they're gone. Whereas my parents' generation, the World War II generation, they had a defined benefit pension plan. That's like what Ford still gives out, I think. So if the market crashed, Ford still made sure you got a paycheck for life. So the baby boomers, you're screwed. Listen to this program now. And if you're the kid or child or grandkid of a baby boomer, you better listen up too because you don't want grandpa and grandma moving in with you when they get wiped out in this next crash. But if you're feeling bad, this is your program. If you're worried about what's going to happen to moi, this is your program. So we're here to save your soul and your checkbook. So let me show you what's happening in the world economy today. You don't have to go to Harvard. You don't have to go to Oxford. This is called economics. It's called bubble economics. What's happening in the world today, and this goes all over the world, all over the world. Every country is doing this right now. Rather than paying their bills, they print money and the economy stays safe for a while, but then it goes down. Better? So in 2000, it crashed. But did they fix the problem? No. In 2008, it crashed again. Did they fix the problem? No. Now, you have to go to Harvard or Yale or Oxford or Princeton to know what's going to happen next. What it does, it keeps makes the real estate market hot, makes uh, real estate hot, it makes the bond market hot, but it's based on bubble-nomics. You don't have to go to college to know this. So today, the United States has Social Security is going bust, teachers' pensions are going bust, state pensions are going bust, Social Security is bust, Medicare is going bust. And what is the United States doing? So, let me ask this question. What's going to happen if we keep going? So what's going to happen? That's what's going to happen. And that's what happened to my classmates. There were great pilots for United Airlines. They're broke. 
They went to college, have college degrees. They have no pension because they drank the Kool-Aid of go to school, get a job, and get a pension. And this crash here may be the end of the earth. And what's probably going to happen is called MMT. MMT is modern monetary theory. I call it Marxist money monetary theory. And that's why Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, they said, let's attack the rich. Let's attack the rich. And they hate Trump. And people are blaming Trump now for this crash. And I said, it was already in the cards. 2016, it was going to go down anyway. Mm -hmm. It's just that Trump got elected. Whatever goes up has to come down. And it's coming down the biggest ever. The board is bright red. Mm -hmm. So the biggest thing here is that what I say to young people is invest in this here. Because that's all I did. But the reason is we believe in teaching people to fish. Mm -hmm. Our school system teaches you to give people fish. And there's 20% of the population, it's the 80-20 rule, it's called Prado's Law. 80% versus 20%. So 80% of the people need to learn how to fish. 20% need to be given fish. The problem is what Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and all these socialists and communists are saying, they're good people. I agree with them. But the number of people who need to be given fish only increases. So you can listen to the school teachers who say that we should take care of the poor, and we should, but not by giving them money. As I'm talking about the economy dying, the reason I say that is the Fed is incompetent. Now the Fed, what I mean by incompetent, they can't save us. It's gone too far. They've been printing money since 1971. And instead of fixing the problem, they just kept making the problem worse. So let me give you an idea how much a trillion is and why I'm saying the Fed is incompetent and dying. So a trillion dollars is a lot of money. And all you have to do today is hit a button. You, know, you don't even have to print it anymore. You just hit a button and say one trillion, two a trillion. So if you spent a dollar every second, it would take you 35,000 years to spend a trillion dollars. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think you and I are going to be around in 35,000 years. But I think they just printed three or four trillion dollars in the last few months. That's how much they're printing. So if you're saving money, you know, I'll pray for you tonight because your savings are actually real money. In other words, if you worked for it and you paid the taxes on that money you worked for, that's real legitimate money. Unfortunately, the Fed is printing trillions and they're going to pay you nothing for your savings. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, I got 15% on my savings. Today, you get nothing. So the Fed is screwing you. That's the term. What I understand about Bitcoin is that it just had a halving. And a halving means they print less of it. At the same time, Bitcoin is printing less. The Fed is printing trillions. Now, you don't need a degree in rocket science to figure that one out. You know, the Fed is making the US dollar or any currency, the yen, the euro, the peso, softer. Bitcoin is getting harder. Gold is getting harder. Silver is getting harder. That's why I don't buy gold, silver, and Bitcoin to get rich. I just hate getting screwed by the Federal Reserve Bank and the Treasury. So if you want to keep saving money and putting it in the stock market, or power to you. But all that paper stuff is printed. And the CEOs of the, the stock market companies, they did a side deal with the Fed. So the Fed was loaning them billions of dollars for them to jack their stock price up. So the, the stock prices are at this artificial high and all mom and pop are watching their 401ks and IRAs and the stocks are this high. And the Fed keeps printing more money, keeps giving the CEOs indirectly because they can't do it directly they do it through what's called srvs special something vehicle it's criminals what they're doing and they give the ceos the money and they pop the stock market up that's why we're in serious trouble that's my opinion i hope i'm wrong and then they're going to try and put me guys like me in jail happens every time so this here is it this is our schools go to school get a job become a small entrepreneur you know, start a pizza shop or something. I don't do that. Because these guys pay 40% in taxes. Remember, money is debt and taxes. They work for money, they pay 40% in taxes. They work for money, they pay 60% in taxes. So the small entrepreneurs, the guys who are just startups, they're gonna pay the highest taxes around. But the big business guys like Elon Musk and uh, 
Bill Gates and Rich Dad here. We only pay 20% tax. We're inside investors. I put my own deals together. I don't touch stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs. I'll create my own deal, like the water deal I talked about. I'm doing a green new deal, but I'll pay no taxes at all. And that's what financial education does.